Hello friends, welcome to your feel good, feel alive yoga flow. Uh, if you're doing the 14 day yoga journey series, this is your class five, or if you're just joining us for this flow today, welcome. So today's practice is going to be exactly what the title says. We're just going to be feeling good and flowing with the body. We're going to be connecting the breath and the body and also giving ourselves an opportunity to re-energize and reawaken all the muscles, leaving you feeling really refreshed and amazing to continue onward with your day. You won't need any sort of props at all, just yourself and your mat. So if you're ready, roll out that mat and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. This program was created to help you begin a journey into mindfulness so that you can experience firsthand all of the benefits that a deeper practice and mind-body connection will always bring into your life. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice. Grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends. So let's get started today at the back of your mat. We're going to start in child's pose. So go ahead and open up your knees just slightly so you have a little bit of room to bring your chest down. Take your arms forward and relax your forehead all the way down. Let's just take this opportunity to close the eyes and bring in a deep breath through both of your nostrils, welcoming this breath into your body, moving it into your lower back, into your hips. Then as you exhale, just simply give yourself the opportunity to relax deeper and deeper into this child's pose. With your eyes closed, Take the opportunity right now to set an intention for your practice. Find gratitude for your body, for yourself, for taking this opportunity today out of your day and doing something good for your health and for your well-being. Let's take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, let's slowly begin to roll up nice and slow up into all fours position. Bring your knees just slightly together so they are hip width apart. And let's just begin to add a nice circle with the body. You're going to bring your hips towards the heels and then over to the right and then allow the hips to dip down as you circle them around and back over to the heels. So making this movement here as large or small as you like. Really feeling the movement in the body, connecting to how your body feels today in this moment. If there's any tension, restrictions, just breathe it out. Now same thing, just reverse the direction of the circle, take it to the left and around. Now don't be afraid to be creative here. Feel free to add as much movement as you like. Add some shoulder movement, even move your head if you want, whatever feels good for you. Great, one more time. Bring it over to the left, drop the hips. And bring it back over to center. Tuck your toes underneath. Press into the hands. Lift the hips. And then begin to come up into your downward facing dog. Now since this is our first downward dog, let's just add a little movement in the legs. We'll pedal the legs out. Bending one knee at a time. Just letting go. And then once your feet are just grounded and still, then allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. So pull them downward, down your back. Wrap those shoulders inward so elbows are pointed downward towards the floor. Really open up through the upper back. Enjoying this downward facing dog position. Letting go of any stiffness, any restriction in your back. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, just going deeper. Now tuck the chin towards the chest and then begin to lift the heels and roll one vertebra at a time coming into a plank position and then guide yourself with the hips back into downward dog. So wave-like motion. Then bend the knees, let the knees hover. 
and then extend the knees into your downward dog. We're gonna do that three more times. Round through, push it back. Bend the knees and hover and extend. Two more, wave your body forward, plank. Push it back, move the spine here. Bend the knees, extend, downward dog, last set. Come forward and back, bending the knees, extending into your downward dog. Beautiful, take a deep breath in, just hold it here. Exhale, round through into plank, then take your Chaturanga Dandasana or modify, but bring the knees down first. Release the toes, inhale, look up. Exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, now slowly let's begin to walk your feet. Take as many steps as you need. Let's say maybe four to six if you can. So make your way over to the mat and keep your feet slightly apart if you need to and just relax your hands downward. On your next inhalation, you're gonna slide your hands on your shins as you lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release it down, bend your knees, step your right foot back, high lunge, arms up, open up the body, square out your hips. Hands come back down to the mat, ground the fingertips, step back into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway, lift up. Exhale, down, bend your knees, step your left foot, arms up, high lunge, open up through the body, open up through that hip flexor. Release the arms, step back, two more. Inhale, halfway, exhale, bring it down. Remember, you can make this fluid. Step your right foot back, arms up, high lunge, hands back down. Step it back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, down, bend your knees. Step your left foot back. Arms up, high lunge, open up through that chest, reach with those fingertips. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot to the front of your mat, forward fold. Bend your knees, start to roll up for three, for two, and one. Inhale, both arms reach up nice and tall, lengthening through the body. Exhale, bend your knees and release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, take two steps back into plank position and take your Chaturanga Dandasana or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up. Exhale, push back or release into that downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Take this opportunity right now to again, connect with the breath, deepen the breath. Fill your lungs with oxygen. On your exhalation, then take your right leg, reach it up to the sky into your three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, and then begin to open your hips. So your right hip is gonna stack on top of your left hip, while at the same time, you're trying to keep your hands grounded, your shoulders square. Now you can either stay here, or if it's within your practice, go ahead and flip the dog, coming into your wild thing. So you can allow that foot to release and drop, release the right arm, Reach it up towards the sky as you lift from the chest and the pelvis. Reach and stretch it out. Now let's add some movement and breath to this. Inhale, drop the hips, bring your arm forward. Exhale, lift up for one. Good, make this feel good on the body, bring it down. Exhale, lift the hips, pull it up. Reach up to the sky for two. Great, from here, release your right hand back down. You're gonna ground that left foot. Bring it back up into three-legged dog. We're in our plank position. You're just gonna bring that right knee to your right elbow and plank, and then extend it back, three-legged dog. Right elbow with your right knee, three-legged dog, beautiful. Two more times. Bring it forward and up. One more, right knee to right elbow and bring it up. Step your right foot between your two hands, top of the mat. Just find your breath, don't rush. Just take a moment if you need it. Left hand stays grounded. Right arm reaches up to the sky into a gentle twist. 
finding that breath on your inhalation you're just gonna bring that arm down exhale you're gonna extend and reach it back up for one inhale bring it down exhale reach for two inhale down exhale for three so if any of you guys have any dance background you can make this as dancing flowy as you like good hold it here it's gentle twist reaching your right fingertips up towards the sky left palm of your hand is grounded beautiful make sure you're stacking those shoulders and then bring your gaze down now leading with that top arm bring it down towards the back of your leg left arm reaches up see if you can reach the left knee the back knee see if you can even grab it hold it here this high lunge left arm reaches up so this is really great way to lengthen through that psoas muscle through your hip flexor exhale now from here you're going to guide yourself forward left hand down now you can either release into this twisted warrior three variation or keep both hands down and just work on the legs and just keeping that left leg up feeling the stretch through the hamstring your hips are square okay so two different variations depending on your level beautiful hold one more inhale exhale now if your arm is up bring it down bend that back knee step it forward to the front of your mat bend both knees roll yourself up for three for two and one let's flow it out inhale reach both arms up exhale dive your way back down forward fold inhale halfway exhale step or hop back if you want into plank position chaturanga dandasana inhale press and open upward facing dog exhale push back downward facing dog all right my friends let's take it to the other side left leg reaches up holding this three-legged dog bending that top knee and then open your hips so you're stacking left over right now again if you wish to just hold it here and breathe and focus on just opening your hips you're more than welcome to stay here if you want to follow me and take it to that next level you're going to flip your dog release the foot extend that other leg and reach it up into your wild thing and let's connect some movement and breath here dropping your hips down as that top arm comes down exhale bring it up for one good bring it down exhale bring it up for two hold that wild thing beautiful now left hand comes back down onto your mat position yourself back into that three-legged dog extend that leg transition into plank left knee touches your left elbow for one inhale extend it all the way up exhale touch the elbow for two inhale up exhale three one more time exhale four inhale reach it up exhale step between your two hands top of the mat with your left foot now this time our right hand is going to stay grounded left arm reaches up now let's just move with the breath inhale drop the left arm exhale extend through the elbow as you reach up for one bring it down and two bring it down and three one more time hold it here four now guide yourself with that left arm all the way up so just take a deep breath in first hold for one more inhale and then exhale that left arm comes back right arm reaches up now see if you can reach for that back knee with your left hand right arm extends so you're feeling this beautiful stretch for that entire right side of the body inhale exhale right hand drops down transition your weight forward lift that right leg into your th uh, warrior three variation with your left arm up and once again you guys if you want to modify it both hands can just stay down and you're just going to work on keeping your right leg lifted and your hips are square all right so again listen to your own body just do whatever feels right for you
Holding here for one more breath in. Exhale, if your arm is up, drop that left arm down. Bend the right knee, drop it down, step at the top of the mat. Bend both knees slightly as you roll up for three, for two, one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or hop back into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog, breathe it out. Well done, you guys. It's really opening through the body again. Just make sure your, uh, your shoulders are not up to the ears. Really elongate that neck. And then from here, go ahead and lift your heels and just walk your feet towards the hands. What we're gonna do here is do a crow pose. So to do the crow pose, you're gonna ground the palms of your hands. You're gonna lift your heels, bend your knees. Now bend your elbows. And what you're gonna do is place the knee right along the tricep. So I like to go right up to the shoulder actually, but still on the tricep muscle. And then you're gonna bring your weight forward. Now to start playing with the weight transfer, just start by lifting one foot and then the other foot. Just find your balance, and if you're a little bit more experienced or have more experience with this, then you work towards lifting both feet and holding that crow. Good, looking forward. Breathe. Now two variations to get out of your crow. You can simply step back into plank, or you can hop right into chaturanga. So either step right back into plank right now, or follow me as we hop right into chaturanga. Good, it's a little challenging, so if you do the plank first, then come down, that's okay. Come on up into upward dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful, just take another inhale, just let your body, let your mind settle. And then once you're ready, once again, walking forward, the top of the mat. Bend your knees, roll yourself up for three, two, one. Big reach, inhale, look up. Palms together, exhale, bend your knees. Slowly make your way down, hands on the floor. And this time, come all the way down into our final Shavasana. Extending your legs, just allowing your body to relax at this time. Closing the eyes, allowing the palms of your hands to open up to the sky. Just listen to your own breath. Listen to your own heartbeat. It's time to slow down that heartbeat. This is a moment where we get to welcome complete relaxation of the body. And after working the body in the way that we did today, it's important to give us even a few minutes at the end to just relax. It gives your body and your mind the opportunity to settle, to find that peace and stillness within. And once we're able to connect that energy, that peaceful, blissful, energy within. We are then able to carry that energy forward through the rest of our day. So let your body be heavy. Relax. Let go of your face, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your thighs, hips, your feet, let it all go, connecting with that idea of gratitude, being thankful for everything that you have in your life, and everything that your body is able to do today. Being grateful for your own health, for your strength, and for this beautiful 
loving awareness and peacefulness that resides within your own heart. Finding this gratitude and love to each breath. I highly recommend you guys stay in this blissful relaxation for as long as you can. So if you do have the time right now in your day, stay here. Just breathe and relax until you're ready to come out. However, if you wish to follow my guidance and finish the class with me right now, then just start by bringing awareness to your fingers and your toes and moving your fingers and your toes again. Taking a deeper inhalation, longer exhalation, and then adding more movement to the legs, bending the knees, rolling yourself over to the side, and coming up to your seated position on your mat. Just finding a nice grounded position here. Feel both of your sit bones grounded on the mat. Let's take our hands, our palms together and just bring them over to our heart. Just feeling that energy between your two hands, the energy that is beating within your own heart. Bow down to that energy. Bow down to yourself and thank yourself for finding this time in your day today, for moving, for breathing, for flowing, for listening to your body, and becoming more tuned and in touch with your own body and awareness. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been an honor to share this time with you on the mat. And congratulations on completing day five of our yoga journey series. I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste. If you enjoyed this class and are looking to take your practice up a notch, when you sign up for our Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, you will receive a coupon where you can choose to experience this complete yoga and meditation program on Boho Beautiful Official, free for the entire two weeks. There, all of the videos are uninterrupted and ad-free, completely downloadable with a custom calendar and daily journal. Plus, you get access to our entire catalog of exclusive classes and content, all with absolutely no risk or cost to you. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and start your journey today.